Good evening, ladies and gentlemen! Yeah. Ecstatic, in exemplary, oh. euphony, the Players Theatre Plus, and it's a super plus, Miss Jan Hunt! <laughs> in the interval. <laughs>
in hilariously uninhibited Hibernicisms. <laughs> Irish jokes. <laughs> Mr. Pat Mooney! <laughs> Great to see you. God, you look lovely. You know I'm Irish, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> this Irish fellow was lying in bed and a plane crashed into his bedroom window. And he sat up in bed, he says, Mother of God, I must have left the London lights on. <laughs> <laughs> this Irish cruise ship is crossing the Atlantic and the captain comes on the tannoy. He says, we've just crossed the Atlantic in four and a half days. And Murphy, the bosun, said, is that a record? The captain says, no, it's me talking. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fair, all these jokes they tell about us poor Irish fellas, is it? All these fellas over here in England telling me jokes like, did you hear about the Irish took a war team, got disqualified for pushing? <laughs> is that right, is it? No. <laughs> this Irish fella went to a building site for a job and the foreman said to him, you're a big, strong, strapping Irish fella. You can start, you see. You get paid a week on Friday. Murphy says, right, I'll start a week on Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> so he's... So he's trying to hold taking all day long, and he's coming off the site, and he sees this Scottish fella sitting on a tractor, and he walks over to him and says, excuse me, why have you done that hold taking all day? And there's you fancy sitting on that fancy tractor, says he, all day, says he, doing no work at all, except driving up and down and enjoying yourself. How do you get away with it? The Scotch fella says, well, we're very intelligent, and you Irish fellas are a wee bit tick. And it, I'll try and explain that to you, see. You ask me any question you like, and if I can't answer it, I'll give you a fiver. And if you can't answer it, see, you give me a pound. How's that? Murphy says, right, I'll go first. He says, what's got five heads, three legs, four tails, swims underwater, and sees in the dark? The Scotch fella says, you've got me there, there's your fiver. What's the answer? Potty says, you've got me as well, there's your pound. <laughs> <laughs> Pat and Mick were walking down a back entry and one of them took a lid off a dustbin and a cat jumped out. Pat said to Mick, Jesus, fancy anyone throwing away a good cat like that. <laughs> 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 but you, I've, you've been a great audience, I'll tell you what, if you let me know where you're working tomorrow, I'll come and laugh at you. <laughs> I'd like to leave you with a thought, and it's a nice thought. Live every day as if it was your last. And one day you'll be right. <laughs> Good night. God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Inveigled from operatic ovations, the 
glutinous in vocalization, endearingly deliquescent for your delight, Sue B. Lee! Netherlands, vertiginous in violinistic virtuosity, Mr. Francis van Dijk!
an esoteric extravaganza of equilibristic equipoise, balancing, Bocelli!
charlatanism incorporates Caledonian canorousness. Scottish singing. <laughs> For your participatory reciprocity, your own, your very own, Mr. Kenneth McKellar! But meet me, meet me in the evening While the bloom is on the rye The spring is waning fast, my love The gone is in the
filibustering fanfaronade of frenetically far-fetched facetiae. The one and only Mr. Ken Jones! First of all, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to say how tickled I am. How, oh, Mrs. How full of plumptiousness. Uh, yes, they can't touch you very love. Nobody wash your hands and cut your nails. Uh, tonight, where's Ablett? Ablett? Uh, this is my butler, ladies and gentlemen. They are Ablett. Take it away. Uh, take it to Miss Solon Hill. Right, but first of all, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to say how tickled I am, Mrs. How discomnockerated. To... <laughs> Oh, how completely ghoulified I feel standing here tonight. I, well, no, you, you're allowed to say that, sir, ghoulified. Oh, yes, if you're from ghoul, that is, of course. Un unfortunately, I'm not from ghoul. I'm from Nutsford. Still it. How? And what an audience, by Joe. Where else can you find an audience like this except at Madame Tussauds? <laughs> yes. Have a good look at yourselves. <laughs> Looks like a pop-up history book. <laughs> All of you dear ladies and gentlemen who have been to the nearly new shop. Because <laughs> when you come to the theatre, folks, you don't just watch the show, you're in it. This is show business. Ah, oh, what a thrill. This business of spangles and tights. <laughs> You sit in your dressing room with the door half open and going past the corridor, you see a flash of pink thigh with some ostrich feathers. And that's only the fireman going to light the boiler. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is, you can't beat the theatre, can you, ladies? It's always, ladies and gentlemen, you can't beat coming to the live theatre, can you, folks? No. It's, of course, it's always better in the flesh, isn't it, ladies? Yeah. Oh, every pleasure, oh, pleasures of the flesh. <laughs> oh, pleasures of the flesh. <laughs> Let's hear you all say it. <laughs> See, I always think I'm very fortunate with my looks because well, I'm behind them. <laughs> this, I, I'm, I've discovered that I, my brain is different than anybody else's. You see, I've, I have a natural bent. And, uh, yes, I'm also a one-off. I've, I've seen the doctor and he said, there's nothing you can do about it. So... <laughs> no, I am, I am a mentalist. I'm, I've discovered I'm a mentalist and I can read your thoughts. And yes, I am going off soon. <laughs> <laughs> telepathy, telepathy. What is your name, madam? What do you name it? Pardon? I... Correct. Now this is... <laughs> I have got this wonderful scientific instrument, which Albert is going to show me here now, hang me here later on. And this evening, I want to, you see, now this, you've probably never seen one of these before. This is a new invention. I've... This was invented by a man in America, a little baldy-headed fellow called Kodak. And he has invented this machine for taking uh, likenesses, for taking photographs, you see. Now, as you'll see of where here, I have a collapsible tripod. It happens to... <laughs> it's a common complaint amongst men of my age. <laughs> this... this could I, have the, uh, could I, I want you to watch the birdie here. Now, right. Now, this... I want to take this commemorative picture so you would just smile and show your teeth. Uh, if the people at the back of the hall would like to pass them down, I'll show them. Uh, right, what else have we got here? Oh, they, they, they think they... Wait a minute, hang on. Right, they, uh, Now, I shall have to go into this cloth for about uh, ten seconds. Well, I can ten. I'd like to go into there longer, but I'm afraid of the dark. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Hang on a minute. Now, I do have a little hand-operated flush. And... Uh, <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, are you going to do that? Oh, see. Yes. <laughs> now, if you would, dear, I'd like you would, you... would you hold... Would you like to hold this for me, dear? Would you like to stand up, Mrs? Stand up and face the ladies and gentlemen and just hold that there. I promise you, it's, there's nothing to be proud of. It's just like a small atomic bomb. <laughs> um, uh, are you all right? Yes. Have you ever done anything like this before? <laughs> Same here. Right. <laughs> This, uh, <coughs> right, <coughs> yes, <coughs> oh, right. now wait a minute, we'll take a picture of the, uh, 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 hold it right up there because no, no, smile in your mind, that's it, say, right, <coughs> was that it? <laughs> <Kevin>. <laughs> They're not using you giving a flash, are you? <laughs> right, now, would you work? Can you, can you say cheese, madam? Can you say cheese? Would you go to the pub next door and get me a sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> there. No, really, like, to this evening's audience, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to say that tonight's audience, you... <laughs> you are just like a beautiful garden here tonight, all these beautiful ladies. And tonight, after all, is romantic night, isn't it, ladies? All over Britain tonight, romantic, frisky girls, just like you, were sitting up in bed and saying, Harry. <laughs> Harry! <laughs> oh, all right then, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> because... <clears throat> because we have a... <laughs> because we have a floral audience tonight, ladies and gentlemen, what about a light baritone song? I am 11 stone, two ringing wets. And... <laughs> So, Bernard, could we have the floral dance? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> As I walked home in a summer's night <laughs> When stars in heaven were shining red <laughs> Far away from the footlights glare I'm dribbling here. <laughs> Into the sweet and centered uh, it's funny, <laughs> of a quaint old Cornish town. <laughs> Born from afar, the gentle breeze, soft as the murmur of summer seas, distant tones of an old world dance, played by the gasworks band, perchance, of the Kahoma came float in I could hear the spurious tone of the cornet panic with a new trombone. Fiddle, cello! Far away has my chance, I heard the sound of the floral dance. Tiddly winks, old man, suck a lemon if you can, if you can't suck a lemon, suck an old tin can. Come on now. And as soon I heard stuff bustling and prancing, and then I saw the whole village was dancing. In and out of the houses they came, old folk, young folk, all the same, in that quaint old Cornish town. <laughs> Every boy took a girl by the waist and hurried her off in tremendous haste. Whether they knew one another, I care not. Whether they cared for one another, I knew not. But they kissed as they danced along. They danced the band. The cornet's coming to the trombone. Fiddle, fiddle. This one making the most of his chance all together in the floor and dance. Auntie Mary had a canary. <coughs> I felt so lonely standing there. And I could only stand and swerve, stir, sorry, sir. For I had no friend with me. Lonely I would have to be in that quaint old Cornish town. When suddenly hurrying down the lane, a figure I knew I saw quite plain. Twas Fanny from the fish shop. <laughs> With outstretched arms, I rushed along and carried her into that merry throng. Up and over, Fanny, show what you made of, hurry! And I fiddled <laughs> when dancing along. Everywhere, up and down, around the town, 
in monetary melodies, the Players Theatre! Mr. Ken Dog to lead the company and yourselves in the last chorus for tonight down at the old bull and bush. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ken Dog, the entire company, Mr. Bernard Herman, the entire and indefatigable orchestra. Yeah. 